Huh? What? Oh, hi. Greetings, one and all, and welcome back to Tom's Hit Parade. Uh, here we are. It's bargain bag time once again. Uh, yes, in keeping with my continuing objective to get bargain bag videos out during the first half of each month, uh, here we are. Uh, yes, Bargain Bag is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of an 8 CD or 8 title mystery CD grab bag assembled from the bargain wall at Epic Seconds, a store in downtown Eugene. Uh, before I open the bag live on camera, I break down excuse me, what was in last month's bag in rough order from Castoffs to Keepers. And uh, so yeah, that's that. And this one's going to go fairly quickly. Uh, I've got, got a minute to... Uh, to explain why. Uh, yes, hopefully this is not a portent of the rest of this year's bargain bag, and uh, in a way it's kind of uh, one reason why I think it's a good thing that I will be ending bargain bag at the end of this year. Uh, well, at least for now. It, it'll be going on an indefinite hiatus, let's put it that way. Uh, but yes, there just wasn't much to interest me in this month's bargain bag, so the breakdown is probably going to go fairly quickly. And uh, a reason for my uh, a, a probable reason for my lack of interest in these CDs, at least this lot, is um, those of you who, uh, well, a lot of you don't know that I just basically got done with what turned out to have been the largest, uh, the biggest pruning of my CD collection in a good couple of years. I got rid of what must have been 150 CDs. I mean, you know, that sounds like a lot, but in a collection of about 3,000, it's, you know, pretty small percentage of them, but uh, still, yeah, it's it's been getting to me more and more lately, and I was kind of hoping this that it would be that way at the beginning of my whole darn CD collection series, but it's taken till it's halfway through uh, before I really, you know, started thinking about, you know, all these CDs, and there's a good chunk of them that I just never listen to anymore, no longer have an attachment to, so uh, yeah, I've just kind of been, uh, over the last couple of months, I took one 50-ish uh, CD portion of my wall down at a time, went through them one by one, started pruning, uh, ended up pruning a lot more than I thought I would. And a couple of CDs that I hadn't listened to in years, I popped in and, you know, they're, the reason why I held onto them had just kind of evaporated. You know, a couple, you know, one or two songs I really enjoyed, but uh, at, at least back then, just didn't have the attachment uh, now that they did back then. And a couple of CDs, though, I hadn't listened to in a long time, and I'd forgotten how amazing they are. So I might talk about those at some point in the future. But anyway, uh, so yeah, suffice to say, uh, hopefully, as I said, hopefully the rest of this year's bargain bag is not as uh, boring, so to speak, as this month. But anyway, let me go ahead and go through the uh, cast-offs, or the uh, breakdown of last month's bag, so we can get on with the show and stop me rambling. Uh, this first one I have not listened to yet because it is a holiday CD, uh, Billboard Greatest R&B Christmas Hits of All Time. Uh, I, as you may or may not, not know, if I get a holiday CD in the bargain bag, I hold on to it until, the, uh, until after Thanksgiving, which is when I begin to listen to holiday music. just don't like to listen to it before then. I like holiday music, but if I listen to it for any longer than about a month, I'm going to get sick of it, and so that's why I try to refrain from listening, from breaking out the holiday tunes until after Thanksgiving. So, uh, yeah, the rest of them, uh, as I said, it's not going to take long to get through them. Uh, Vince Gill, uh, I Never Knew Lonely. It's okay. Vince Gill's a talented country singer, but, you know, that's just kind of paint-by-numbers country, what can I say? And another CD that turned out to be country, I wasn't sure what it was at the time, Danny Barnes, um, Dirt on the Angel. I guess that title kind of should have been a first clue, as well as the dudes playing a banjo on the back cover. <laughs> Duh. But uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of the same thing with Vince Gill. Decent musician, just none of the none of the tunes grabbed me at all. And speaking of none of the tunes grabbing me, Andrea Bocelli, so Sonio, I assume is how you pronounce it in in Italian. I try to be as authentic in pronunciation of foreign languages as I can be. Shows respect, you know. Uh, yeah, I there was a very brief period where I was kind of into the popra, the you know the opera pop crossover stuff, but uh, this sadly has uh, came along too late. Uh, it does have Celine Dion and Eros Ramazzotti as uh, guest musicians, as well as 
Doce Pontes. I don't know who that is, if it's a group or a person. Uh, you know, as, as guest appearances on here, but, uh, you know, and most of it is in Italian. And just, you know, and, and most of it is opera, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, just didn't appeal to me. Andrea Bocelli has an amazing voice, don't get me wrong, but, uh, yeah. And then another one. I was kind of hoping to like this one, but again, it kind of fell flat. I might give this one another listen. Uh, Tempest by Jesse Cook. He is a, a guitarist, and uh, th this album, at least, has a very much of a Latin feel to it. And I saw a couple other of his CDs in the two and a half dollar section at Epic Seconds. And, uh, you know, I, I might give that one one more listen, and if I like it enough, I might pick up those other two. Who knows? Then we have yet another country album, Alabama. Uh, in Pictures is the name of this one. There were a couple of good songs on this one. Uh, Say I is one of them. And... Oh, what was the other one? Shoot. Um, Nothing Comes Close. I think that was a pretty good one. So, yeah. Still, it, it wasn't enough to save the CD from the cast-offs pile. Let's put it that way. Now, the runner-up on this one... I might keep this one. Actually, yes, I think I am going to keep this one. Uh, it is a salute to Bob Wills and uh, by a group called Asleep at the Wheel. And, uh, yeah, I guess Asleep at the Wheel does the uh, the instrumentation. There are a lot of guest vocalists on here, and the print is very, very small, so let me see if I can read it. Uh, the Dixie Chicks, uh, now known as the Chicks, are on here, and uh, Vince Gill, Dwight Yoakam, Leanne Womack, the Squirrel Nut Zippers, they're on here. In case you don't have enough Squirrel Nut Zippers in your life, they're on here. Uh, Sean Colvin, Reba McIntyre, Merle Haggard, uh, Tim McGraw, Mark Chestnut, Clint Black. So pretty much an all-star salute to Bob Wills. This The disc here is in pretty kind of shabby condition, so I may keep an eye out for a better conditioned copy of this in the future. And the winner, such as it is, of this month's collection is Music Without Frontiers. It's a, basically a world music compilation uh, put out by Virgin, yeah, the Venture uh, imprint of the Virgin Records label. Decent stuff. Uh, you guys won't probably won't recognize any of the uh, the names of any of the artists on here, so I won't bother reciting them. But some interesting stuff on here. I I I, I like world music. I have to kind of be in the mood for world music. But uh, this is a good sampler, a good compilation, so uh, I will likely keep this one. So, uh, yeah, and that was the uh, the breakdown of last month's bag. So hopefully this month's bag will be a little bit more exciting. Uh, you know, that, and I, I'll re repeat this. There, this is nothing against the musicians themselves or their talent. It's just this stuff, you know, unless I said otherwise, just didn't grab me personally. So... Music is subjective, after all. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this one. And I'm st still waiting for the two CDs that I know are in one of these bags somewhere. Uh, Play by Moby and the soundtrack from Schindler's List. So let's see if one of those, or both possibly, are in here. I'm pretty sure they're not both in here because I think I did separate them. In case you don't know the story, um, I actually bought all the CDs themselves. They're normally a dollar a piece but they were on sale at the time I bought them for four for a dollar, so 25 cents a pop. I figured I, uh, my bargain bag was going to end at the end of that year, but I decided, you know, while they're on sale, grab enough for two years' worth of bargain bags. So here we are, uh, almost a year and a half later, winding down to the last half dozen or so. So, uh, so But yes, I bought, bought so many of them uh, at the same time and stuffed so many bags that I really don't, barely remember anything that was in any of the bags, so... There we go. That's why they're kind of a surprise to me as I open them. So, first one out of the bag is... Oh, Acoustic Alchemy. Uh, these guys are a... Uh, I think they're classified as a New Age uh, group. Sorry, I'm a little uh, off-center here. Uh, a New Age group. Uh, instrumental, uh, acoustic instrumental stuff. Acoustic as uh, suggested by the na name, name of the group. And I think one of those CDs was in... One of their CDs was in my sister's collection, and I'm pretty sure I hung on to it. So, yeah. And the next one we have is... Oh, Mark Cohn. This one... Don't I already have this? I may have already gotten this, um, obviously, since I 
bought the bargain bag CDs. Now, obviously, I didn't realize, you know, anyway. Uh, or I may not have it. I might have gotten rid of this in favor of because I found his greatest hits CD. And I guess maybe I decided at the time that the greatest hits was enough. But this is his debut album. He's a singer-songwriter, uh, pop, folk pop rock kind of singer-songwriter. So I will re-listen to it and see if I want to keep it again. Then we have huh, Martin Zeller, Born Under. Born Under what? Anyway, uh, it's on the Ryko label, so uh, I have no idea. Uh, since there's a picture of a saloon on the back, and he's kind of a uh, jeans and jacket kind of guy, I'm guessing it's going to be country, but who knows. And what do we have here next? We have, oh, the Subdudes. <laughs> I've heard of these guys. I heard one song of theirs at some point somewhere and kind of liked it, but I never really explored the group. So I guess uh, uh, might as well start with a live album. So live albums tend to collect uh, their best known songs or their biggest hits. So. And then we have, uh, oh, another Jesse Cook. <laughs> So yeah, this will be another um, opportunity for me to check it out and uh, make sure make sure I don't like that other album. I guess anyway, I kind of like the the uh, cover of this one, and this one may not be as. Oh, actually, it says right here, "Gravity" is rumba, flamenco, world beat, jazz pop. So so yes, he is apparently characteristically a Latin inspired guitarist. So, okay. Latin guitar is not a huge thing for me, but who knows. It does. It it depends. There's all, There are exceptions to just, just about every genre. It depends on who is performing the music. Then we have, oh, Kathy Matea, another country artist, a collection of hits. Something tells me this is a collection of her hits. Anyway, uh, I am not familiar with her music, so it'll be interesting to See if she's any good. Any good to me. And we have next to the last CD is hmm, the Rin Ken Band. I have absolutely no idea who this who these guys are. Oh, this is a Japanese. Uh, it's a Japanese print um, issued CD. You know, uh, Japanese version because you can see on the on the right hand side there. There's a. Uh, the copyright indicia is Japanese, so this will be interesting to listen to. Uh, another bit of world music, and then the final disc in this collection is oh Paul Potts. Yes, this was the guy that did the thing, you know. Um, and again, kind of like uh, Andrea, Andrea Bocelli, this is uh, popera, uh, opera class crossover pop. Uh, we'll see. Who knows? Yeah, he was on America's Got Talent, or Britain's Got Talent, or X Factor, or The Voice, or one of those shows, because uh, it is a psycho music uh, release, uh, Simon Cowell's uh, imprint. So, yeah, an interesting uh, collection yet again of bargain bag CDs. So, tune in a month from now, roughly, to see what tickles my fancy. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for Bargain Bag for the month of April 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comment section below as I slur my words. Also, scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and browse my past videos. And be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.